Generally, centerline geometry will be required to satisfy design standards to ensure safe and effective roadway design. The Open Roads technology includes tools to evaluate and report geometry that does not satisfy the requirements. Several imperial and metric-based design standards are delivered with the software. Additional standards can be added to meet your organization's specific requirements. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use design standards as a check for horizontal geometry. To bring up the design standards toolbar, you'll simply locate the design standards toolbar icon under the general geometry tasks. When you click on that, you'll see that the Design Standards toolbar comes up. We'll go ahead and select a two-lane, 6% super design standard at 65 miles per hour. The icon on the left is what you would use to set this design standard to active. So when it's highlighted, your design standard is active. When you have it toggled off, your design standard is not active. So the design standard can be set to active at the time that you're creating geometry elements. When the active design standard toggle is enabled, minimum curve radii and other parameters will be automatically set in the Create Geometry tools. While this can be useful for some design workflows, it can become somewhat cumbersome in much of your work because you may not want to evaluate every geometry element you create against the design standards. Many times only the final complex geometry alignment typically needs to be evaluated. A good workflow is to assign a design standard only to the final complex geometry element and that's what I'm going to be doing in this example. You can see here that I have a complex geometry element. This element has already been created without design standards being applied to it. So now that it's complete and has been complexed, we want to go ahead and assign a design standard to it. To do that, we'll set the design standard that we've previously chosen to active and you can see here at the bottom we're prompted to select the element. So we'll select our complex element and right click to reset. Now the way that you'll be able to tell whether or not this particular alignment has design standards applied is you can simply select the element and go into element information if you expand complex element, you can see here that the active design standard has been applied. If you want to, you could right click on this and remove it. So let's go ahead and add that back in. We'll select our element and right click to reset. Now you can see when I go out and select this element again and take a look at the element information, we've added back in the design standard. So now that the design standard has been applied to this particular complex element, we want to check the geometry against the design standards. And the way to do this is with the Civil Message Center. You'll usually find the Civil Message Center docked along the bottom left hand corner of your workspace. So we'll go ahead and click that and we're going to hide everything and first we're going to take a look at this one error. So you can see here that this error is appearing as a result of the design standards. If we expand this you can see what it's telling us is that the arc radius is less than the minimum that's defined in our design standards. So our design standard value is 1660 and our actual value is 1650. In the Civil Message Center, we can right click on this error message and select Zoom To. When we look back into our design file, 
can zoom in a little closer to the area and you can see the icon has been displayed that illustrates that this is the area where we have a conflict with our design standards. So let's zoom out just a bit until we can see the radius. So you can see here that the radius is 1650 and we know from our Civil Message Center that our design standards require a 1660 radius. So we can edit the manipulator here Now when we do that, you can zoom in and see that the warning indicator has disappeared. And when we go back into our Civil Message Center, we now have zero errors. So let's take a look now at the warnings. So if we take a look at these warnings, you can see that most of these are going to be a missing transition. This is because our design standards recommend spiral transitions between lines and arcs, and we did not include any spirals in our designs. So we'll let these warnings uh, stand for now without making any changes. However, we, we absolutely could make any changes that we wanted to. And that brings up a good point about design standards. Design standards do not force you to use the minimum or recommended values. They simply alert you when your values do not meet the recommended standards. Ultimately, the engineering decision of which values that you use is up to the user. The last point that I would like to bring up is that the design standard is associated and it is stored as part of the geometry element. So as you can see in element information, the design standard is stored on the complex element itself.